everyone, welcome to Scrapping Beauty. My name is Cassandra and today I am taking you through a 12 by 12 layout share uh, from, I think it was April probably last time I done this, to currently, right now. So it will be uploaded tomorrow, but today is Sunday the 26th of September. Just had to check my calendar. Um, you may notice this beautiful rainbow page, which is my placeholder before we get started. If you haven't noticed it yet, head over to Crazy Craft Obsession Facebook page. Uh, I will be holding some live events over there on a Saturday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time at 7pm. So feel free to come join us. There will be a promo code released during the live for our Australian based scrapbooking shop. So don't miss out. So, without further ado, I will show you the layouts. So, first layout, layout off the bat is this one here. Uh, it has a process video on the channel, which I will link down below. It has that concertina fold of the Paige Evans Wonders Collection. This is Jasmine, she's our youngest cat, she's one of four. And I have used the uh, Diane Reevely Dilusions Betsy Block pattern on the background. And I believe it was the Dilusions um, sprays that I used for the background there. You can see there a fussy cut these from the 6x8 paper pad and these from the 6x8 and I've got some chipboard there. I've also got some um, thickers, foam thickers that I've coloured using Distress Oxides and I believe it was Chip Sapphire. I've also got some stenciling of Vicky Burton texture paste, no sorry, Vicky Burton glaze um, in that gold colour there. Gorgeous layout, I absolutely love it. Full of dimension. So the next layout which I don't believe there's a process video for, is also using Paige Evans' Wonders collection. I have fussy cut the envelopes. Um, I don't think I fussy cut the flowers, no. It's got the thickers there and the tiny alphas. It's got part of our sequin collection, the crazy confetti. I believe this one here is Purplicious, rightfully named by my partner. <laughs> You can see there it adds a lot of shimmer to the layout. It uses some silver Vicky Burton glaze, gorgeous stickers from the collection, the paper is from the collection and I've stenciled over some Distress Oxide and stamped some Distress Oxide just to give it a little bit more texture. And then I've matted it on a piece of white cardstock. Bit of an unusual photo this one as well. This one I believe is a 6x8 photo rather than a usual 6x4 photo. This one here, I don't think there's a process video for. I think I was doing it for a class that I was um, in the process of making. It uses the Pink Fresh Studio, um, what's it called now? I can't think of the name. Pink Fresh Studio, no, the name has absolutely gone from my memory. Not the one before Happy Blooms, Keeping It Real. Pink Fresh Studio, Keeping It Real collection. I love the teal um, um, alphabet stickers with the little tiny alphabet stickers. I love the fact that the flowers in this collection have purple in it because you don't usually see that. You can see I've got the diagonal cluster happening in this layout, the ripping. I love doing these tags at the top of the page and a bit of chipboard. So this one here I done while I was uh, scrapping on the lounge. I have a little kit full of old stock, um, like the Never Grow Up collection by Schmel that I use on the lounge to scrapbook while we watch TV. The sequins are from the collection. The wood button is from the collection. The ephemeral, both the papers are from the collection. And this one here I fussy cut from, I think it's six by, a four by, no, a three by four journaling card or a 4x6 journaling card. The photo is of Jasmine, she's a bit bigger there than in the other photo, Gaston and Jack. 
and I've matted it on some black cardstock and this one here I've matted on black cardstock just to break it up from that busy background. Uh, this one here was featured on our blog in our website I believe. It uses the Happy Blooms collection by Pink Fresh Studios. I've done a bit of paper folding here and some pinwheels which is a bit unusual for me but I loved the technique and I would certainly do it again. I've used some plain cardstock just to break up that purple there. Um, I've used a lot of the ephemera, the little titles, some of the enamel dots. And this photo was taken of my partner and I at our local um, big garden place. They put on an event for Christmas full of Christmas lights. So you'll see a lot of those photos pop up because that was one of the major events that we were able to go to last year thanks to COVID. So I went a little bit overboard with photos. This one here is also a lounge scrapping kit. It uses the Coco Vanilla Studio Legendary Collection Ephemera and Titles. This one here is just an old paper that I had in my collection and the same with the backing paper. This is Bagheera, Jasmine again and Jack. And I absolutely love how this one turned out with the stars. The ephemera pack has a lot of these stars in it. The arrows, um, the enamel dots, they all go perfectly together and I just really like it. It's a real kind of neutrally boyish kind of layout. Whoop, I dropped my layout. All right, this one here was also a couch scrapping kit. It uses a sequins pack that I've had in my stash for a while. It's not one of ours. Uh, it used a whole heap of papers that were just sitting in my stash and stickers. This is Jasmine on top of Melody. We <laughs> bought the cats a unicorn chair, which is meant for children, but we bought it for cats because we're crazy cat people. And uh, the cats all loved to sit in it and when Jasmine was little she wanted to sit in it but Melody wouldn't move so Jasmine just sat on her, as you do. So of course I had a snapshot of photo and I love it. I've done the unicorns because it's a unicorn chair of course. Um, beautiful florals from a Paige Evans collection, a lot of journaling and this one here is the same sticker sheet as the unicorns. More pictures of the cats, of course. This one here is also the Pink Fresh Keeping It Real collection. I've done a bit of mixed media in the background using Distress Oxides. I believe there is a process video for this one, so you can check it out. But I think it was Distress Oxides. You can see here I've used some of the puffy stickers. I've used a cut file from, I want to say Pear Tree Cut Files. It will either be Pear Tree Cut Files or... Confessions of a Paper Addict, because I love both. I have used some Dilutions uh, acrylic paint to paint it purple, and then backed it using the collection and a piece of another collection, scrap piece of paper, to do the, um, what's it called? Like the outline part. So I love how this turned out using the three photos. You can see that the photos are definitely the focal point. I like the tearing technique because it goes well with the mixed media and I really like how the three clusters are really around the photos on this layout. This one here also has a um, process video. It is using the new Coco Vanilla These Days collection which is amazing. We are getting more stock of it in the shop so I'm really excited about that. I have used some Distress Oxides and a stencil my friend bought me for my birthday um, to do the background. I have used the Honeycomb Stencil by Dina Wakely to do this part of the shimmery mixed media. I'm not sure whether you can see that on camera that well, but it is really, really shimmery. It uses unicorn paste. And then I've cut out one of the pocket cards for the collection. I've used some of the ephemera and the butterflies, which I think I fussy cut from a 6x8 paper pad and some of the gold puffy hearts. I have also done here, here and here, some embossing using Ranger's gold embossing powder and the embosser pens, which I would highly recommend. And the photos are of a birthday card that my friend sent me with the stencils. She didn't tell me she was sending it. It just rocked up at my, at my door one day. 
for my birthday. So it absolutely made my day because I think by that point we were going into lockdown or in lockdown. So it was amazing to get a birthday present. This one here will have a process video. It's not done yet, but it will have a process video. It's using a few different little elements. So it's got the cut file, which is backed with, I don't know whose paper it is. I think it's one out of my stash. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this one here might be a hardy swap paper, possibly. The background, I love the textured background. I love the title and the kind of monotone, or well, not monotone, but the, the neutral kind of colors to the collection. Uh, it is of my partner getting dirty in our backyard. He's always fixing stuff and always getting absolutely filthy. I've cut out these on my Cricut. Um, we plan on having some, they're going to be called Crazy Cuts, available in the shop where they're pre-cut cut files and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just in the middle of drawing up some cut files. This one here is Fussy Cut from the Storyteller collection. This one here is from the Kaleidoscope collection, I believe. And this one here is from Schmel's Never Grow Up collection. So a bit of a mismatch, which is what my lounge scrapping kit is. This one here is another lounge scrapping kit. Um, I have to admit, I absolutely love how this one came out. I had this busy background sitting in my stash for years. We're talking over 10 years. Um, and I was a bit worried about using it because it was so busy. So a trick I like to use is to break it down and have a bigger part in the middle here so that it takes the bulk of your photos and makes the background a little bit less busy. I have used some Distress Oxides in a lattice stencil by I believe Kaisercraft, Kaisercraft for the background here. It is of my partner and Melody and Melody here. Melody has to be uh, my partner's favorite animal that we have. We have six. She is treated like an absolute princess. So of course my title had to be Daddy's Little Princess. I've used fairies and some floral glittery ephemeral, another unicorn, and some banners here with tiny word stickers on them. This one here, I, I'm not sure if there's a layout for this one. I'll have to check. Um, it is using mixed media. I don't think there's a layout. I think I posted it on our Facebook group. Um, but it uses Distress Oxides. It also uses, if I can get the shimmer going there, possibly, um, some spray stains. So there was Dilusions. Um some salvage patina, distress oxide spray stain, and the normal spray stain, uh, the shimmers, dilutions, and the standard dilutions for this one. I've used Paige Evans Wonders Collection for the ephemera and the butterflies. This one here is a kaleidoscope sticker from Vicky Booten. The tag is from Paige Evans and the Big Explore is from the Never Grow Up collection from Schmel and the little title is from Paige Evans. And it is of Simba licking me in the backyard, of course. And the sequins are our crazy confetti in Mermaid's Tail. I just love how all the colors go together so well and the sequins really focus in on that photo. I don't think this one's got a process video either. Sometimes I just like to create without making a process video. It's using an old piece of paper there for the matting. This one here is a piece of white cardstock that I have mixed mediated. So you can see here I've started off with yellow and gone out to purple using Distress Oxides and, sp and sprays. This one here I believe is blooms to, the color blooms to um, black tulip. We've got some dilutions, and this one here is also a color blooms in spring dandelion, I think. These butterflies were fussy cut from the same collection this one's come from. The flowers are from a Maggie Holmes collection, and then we've got another Paige Evans collection there. We've got some messy doodling. 
I keep a Pringles container that has paper around it to make it look pretty on my desk for all of my branding strips. So these are some of the branding strips used. And then I've used some, um, I believe they're liquid pearls or stickles for the tails of the butterflies. This one here has definitely got a process video. It went up last weekend, so you can check it out. It has a bit to it. It's got all of the distress inks painted on in the rainbow. Then it's got stamping using the new pink fresh ab abstract cube stamp with distress ink. And then we've got the pink fresh studio layered star stencil in the medium star with the Vicky Burton Wonders texture paste on it. The whole process video takes you through the whole process of this, so it's a good one to watch to up your mixed media skills. It's basically colour on colour for all the mixed media. Uh, Shine Bright is from the Coco Vanilla Studio, I want to say Midnight Collection, I'm not sure, but it's one of the older collections. We've got some Storyteller Ephemera, definitely Storyteller. All the stars are Storyteller as well. We've got Bagheera and Melody, Bagheera and... Jasmine. I have another cat. He's called Gaston. I'm not sure whether he features in any of these. He's very hard to photograph because he's black and someone had the suggestion of using their flash on their phone so I'm going to try it out and hopefully he'll end up in a few more videos. This one here is the beginning page of my 2019 album that I am currently working on. It uses the Vicky Bitten Colour, Colour Study paper. It's the circle paper. Um, it's got the new Tim Holtz Distress Mica Mists. They're limited edition. Cannot speak highly, more highly of them. We've got them available in the shop. We're getting the Christmas ones in. And together they make a full color palette of 12 different colors in a really shimmery mist. So I don't know whether you can see that on camera. But if I move it around, hopefully you can really start... To see that sparkle especially over here hopefully you can see it i've then got a vicky burton stencil with some bow bunny texture paste through it i really love the bow bunny texture paste as well it's very glittery then i've used some fussy cut flowers from the coca vanilla sun kiss collection some butterflies from the i want to say unforgettable collection but i'm not sure a colour study sticker, some colour study um, stickers and thickers, a colour study tag, and then we've got our sequin, our crazy confetti sequins from the Sugar Blossom collection, I believe it's called. So there we go, that one there is very, very gorgeous, very bright and bubbly for the beginning of an album. This one here is also from my 2019 album. It uses a pre-made Vicky Burton color study layout from the color study mixed media pre-done pad. Um, then I came in with a stencil and done some uh, Tim Holtz Distress Mica Mists in the Halloween set. Let's see if we can pick up some of that shimmer now from that. There we go, that's that shimmer. Just to add a little bit more mixed media, I've matted it on a piece of plain cardstock. I've done the cardstock matted in black, picture matted in black as well, just to add a little bit more definition between them. This is the Vicky Burton Color Study stamp, and I have colored it in using Distress Oxides just to get some ephemera going here. Um, these ones here are also from Color Study. The title is from Color Study. This is, of course, me playing on some playground equipment like a child. We were there with children, but naturally I had to uh, harvest my inner child and get on the playground equipment. I have matted on black cardstock and I've done a few little faux stitching and dots just to tie it all in. This one here is using the These Days collections. It is using the gorgeous shimmer paints. There's a bit of inklings, a bit of shimmers and a bit of creams in there. And then it's got the Shimmerings Mist done through the Dina Wakely Hexagon Stencil to add even more shimmer and shine. It's got some old thickers that I've got. 
I've torn the edges of the paper to put the These Days Collection paper behind it. And I have splattered on some Liquitex gold ink. So I absolutely love this one. This one here has also got my friends in it, so I can't show them. But it also uses the These Days Collection. I've used a pattern paper for the background. I've come in with a Vicky Booten stencil and some Distress Oxide in Speckled Egg. Um, and just blended that through the um, stencil with a blending brush. You can see here all of the These Days um, ephemera used. It's the These Days uh, titles, the thicker titles and the mini alphas. We were going to my grandfather's funeral, hence the title. And then to top it off, I've used some liquid pearls in rose gold to make the butterfly tails. And I love this layout. It is gorgeous. Uh, this one here, I I don't think there's a process video for it. Maybe there is. I'm not sure. Um, it is using the new Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection. Um, I've used some Distress Oxides in the background through a Vicky Bitten stencil to create the flowers and I've just overlapped them. So from memory, I think there was tea dye, Victorian velvet and antique lace. Possibly. Maybe that's a shimmers. I'm not sure. Um, again, it uses our Sugar Plum collection uh, of Crazy Confetti to add a little bit of flair. It's got the... I don't... Were they Bungalow Lane? I think they're Bungalow Lane flowers. Definitely Bungalow Lane ephemera. I love the leaves. It's got these two tags with the pieces of twine. And the journaling and then it's matted in a bungalow lane paper that I've gutted. This one here uh, it definitely put up on Vicky Burton's creative community website and on our Facebook page. Um, it has no process video unfortunately but it is done using all of Distress Oxide's blended out so it was a piece of white cardstock. I knew that I wanted to use a rainbow so I fussy cut that from Storyteller and then I have used different Distress Oxides to blend that whole colour out. And I love how it turned out. It's so bright and bubbly. This is Simba and this is Jack and we'd gotten some new wine barrel flower pots um, and they decided it was a good place to sit, of course. This one here is from the Vicky Burton Storyteller collection so it's all the ephemera. I love the little pops of gold in there. It just really makes the layout come together and then I've gone around and done a black border around the outside. Now I've got one more layout to share. There is a bit of a story to it. While I was making this layout on the kitchen table my partner decided to scrapbook with me. I had asked him uh, and he said he would give it a go. So we've got his very first layout which is very very dear to me and I will forever cherish it. It will go with me wherever we go. And he said he's going to try it again, so I don't think it's going to turn into a hobby, but at least he's enjoying it with me sometimes. So here is his layout. It also uses the Vicky Bitten Storyteller collection. He's used a teal piece of paper because teal, that bluey greeny colour, is his favourite colour. He's got Bagheera, Melody and Bagheera in a tree. These are two of his favourite pictures of the animals. So naturally he had to use it on a layout. He's matted it in white cardstock, which I think he's picked up from me. He's used Your Adventure Stories Only One Step Away for the title and then some beautiful florals because they're in the tree and never stop exploring. And I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. He's done a really good job. So that is all of our layouts for uh, April through to the beginning of or well, the end of September. I think there was about 19 in total. I've done some pocket pages as well, but I won't show them on camera because they get too much glare. I think I've run through everything. We're having a live next Saturday, the 2nd of October, on our Facebook page at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Times. We've got Shimmers in the shop, which is brand new. We've got some simple stories coming, some Echo Park coming, more distress products, and 
we've got Vicky Burton's new Fernwood collection coming to the shop as well. Um, yeah, feel free to check the description box down below. Let us know if you have any questions or comments and we will see you later. Thanks, guys.